my name is Lauren Laguire. I'm 20 years old, and uh, I've been a Waterbury and Duxbury resident since birth, so um, I've spent a lot of time in this community. My name is Aaron Mooney. How old are you? I'm 30. Right, uh, I'm Josh Baker. I'm 16. Hi, I'm Joe Simos. I'm also 16. We're both from Waterbury Center. Yep. Waterbury the Street. Exactly. Yep. Neighbors. So what's your name? My name's Ken Squire. How old are you? None of your business. <laughs> My name is well, Okay, Patty per hand, 50. And I'm, I'm <laughs> Neil Richardson and I'm 16. Okay. Uh, um, my name is Maya Gilmore Sloan and I'm almost 12. You? I'm Hazen Howell and I am love it. I love it. I'm Connor Lines. Okay. Uh, what do you like about Waterbury the way it is now? I like that there's a lot of stuff to do around here. Like what, what kind of stuff do you do? Well, I mean, you got grocery stores. <laughs> so, you got video stores around here. And you got parks you can go play in. Lots of stuff. Well, what I like about Waterbury is that almost everybody knows everybody else. And that it's close-knit community. Waterbury is a really nice town and that it, for a small town it's got wonderful resources and we've used the pool for years and the library. Do you like that? Um, I like that it's so small and everyone's so friendly. Okay. Speak loud, that's good. I like the farmer's market and yeah, I like the farmer's market a lot and the flea market. It's small. I love uh, I mean there are a lot of small businesses and a lot of it's a very, I feel like it's a very close to community even though um, I feel like it could definitely be brought together a little bit more. Um, there's a lot of regulars, kind of people that work. Uh, I think it helps that a lot of people work in Waterbury and work in the town, and, and um, that everyone kind of knows each other. Maybe not everybody knows each other's names, but everyone's kind of a familiar face. There's a lot of community gathering places. You know, there's Dak Road. There's the, you know, there's parks all over the place. It's really a, a sense of community that, you know, it just it makes Waterbury feel really, you know. It's a nice place to be, hang out. So. Yeah, definitely. There's a lot of uh, places where you can go and play sports. You can go to the pool and swim. There's a basketball court right outside of that. There's tennis courts. There's a ton of baseball fields, soccer fields, everything. Oh, let's see. What do I like about water? Well, I was born here. I was actually born in Waterbury, and I've always liked Waterbury because it's home. And I guess that's what it means mostly to me is that it's home. Okay. What's what are some things that you want to see in Waterbury's future? Well, um, truthfully, I am here for the semester, um, taking some time off college, and I'd like to see, truthfully, as, a, as when I was younger, I didn't get to spend a lot of time um, in Waterbury just because of transportation and things like that, but I think trying to open up um, the town and make it a little more accessible to everyone would be a good idea. Um, just a place where people can go, maybe where kids can go after school, and uh, play ping pong or, or do homework or get help with that kind of thing. Um, uh, maybe like movie nights, things like that, where everyone can kind of, in the community, can kind of join together and help each other out. And um, it just be a great way to kind of get people to come together in one place and for everyone to kind of expand what they know and their interests and bring the town together, so. Maybe a movie theater. Yeah. Or pool. Okay. I think we should add in some shops. I mean, yeah. Not. I don't want to make it like a big, like an urbanized kind of place because that'd be not Waterbury yeah. at all. But if we get like music stores yeah. or a bookstore or something yeah, like that, yeah, yeah. It's, or a combination because there's a lot of places that are both bookstores. And yeah. Stores. And uh, what would you like to see in Waterbury's future? Waterbury's future, uh, all the recreational facilities maintained, so we still have a pool, library, ice rink, um, maybe possibly a clothing store. Okay. Water slide the pool. Sure. <laughs> yeah, water slide the pool. Yeah. Okay. Toy stories. I would like to see um, something that used to be a restaurant. Um, it's now called One Stowe Street. It was discovered to be an underground railroad stop. Yeah, I think the pool should get fixed because it's just a little that clean and disgusting. It seems to be adding pretty well on its own, isn't it?
It's got Ben and Jerry's and Green Mountain Coffee Roasters, and they're great. I mean, they do good work, and they bring people, and they bring interest to the community. Um, I guess I'd like to see it at Crossroads again. This was always the Crossroads community and the drummers. The, I think I'd like to see the railroad come back more. Yeah. Um, I think it's important because this, as we get to a new time when fuel's going to cost a lot of money, that r rail transportation is going to become more and more important. And we have this real opportunity here with these wonderful companies that are making this their home. And that there'll be a time as the cost of fossil fuel goes up when we'll look to other forms of, of mass transportation to move goods, ice cream or coffee or whatever. And it will be really important that we become a crossroads community again, but for a larger community than just the valleys on either side of water. We, we need more bright young people with good ideas about what we can do with our buildings in our town, because this is a beautiful town. Yeah. It's a very pretty town in the Minsky River. It's a perfect setting. But, but, you know, you'll have to tell us. Yeah.